This is Mary at the Marriottier, and it's Sunday evening, March the 21st. Welcome to my desk. Welcome to my desk. We have art to do. We have art to do. Okay. Well, while I'm waiting for folks to come in, I want to show you this. This is the journal that I got at the thrift store the other day. If you remember, it had little triangles on it. And I was saying I didn't like it so well. <laughs> I didn't like the cover. It was too graphic for me. So I painted it out. And then, because it was slick on the outside, all my paint peeled off. And I should have known better. So I took and sanded it all down. Sanded off all the peeled paint and um repainted it and then i put some washi tape here and here now i'm going to use this journal for personal work personal journaling i have a project that's kind of personal that i'm going to work on and i'm just going to mind map and write down it's going to be kind of like a society of idea collectors only on one specific project and I'm not going to call it a secret project because it's more of a personal project that I'm working on. It may never materialize, but I'm going to write my thoughts down. I think it's important to, if you're thinking about something and if it keeps coming back to you and you, get, you keep thinking, gosh, I should try that, at least put something down. So that's what this is for. I, did, I was looking for a, for a nice hardbound journal to do this in. The reason I have it out is that I also had purchased some of this Cricut foil. Now this is to use in the Cricut machine and I do not have a Cricut machine and um, that's okay. I, I tore a little piece off here to see if it would work. This is adhesive foil and I'm going to take this cover off all i want to do is put a strip maybe down here down here and i'm just going to see if i can't cut it with my and i'm going to i'll play around with it it's it's nothing that it's not going to be a big foiling project i did order some heat reactive foil and we'll get into that in a moment and it should be coming in the next week. So I am going to do some foiling projects. I've been wanting to do some foiling projects for the last, well, for the last year. Now, oh, come on. Why is this so hard? Because you make it hard, Mary. Yeah. It's sealed there. Where's my... Let me get my palette knife out. <laughs> it's, it's my go-to letter opener. And this just describes all the uses, I believe, on the Cricut. But I'm not going to use it on the Cricut. I want to work on my Rolodex tonight. We're going to do another Rolodex card. And I'm going to work in my March journal tonight. And as I left it Friday night, I was cutting stencils. So later on tonight, I'm going to finish cutting this stencil. I'm really liking how this is turning out. This is my stencil. And in fact, I also ordered two more packages of these Avery plastic page they come for about $3.24 at Walmart and on Amazon. That's about, and you get eight of them. And I guess you can slip your information in here. I didn't know you could. There's a little spot where you, in there where you can put information. So I might do that and I uh, identify these as Art Nouveau or something like that. But let's go back to this. Let's just throw this stuff away. I don't want it. If I want it later, well, I'll let you know. Let's welcome everybody in here. 
Welcome everyone. I tell you, I've had a, the other week, just the other night just tired me out and I'm still tired. Well, what's going on here? Let's just unplug it to talk to you and then I'll plug you back in when I'm done talking. Hi, Holly. Welcome. Hi, Nina. Hi, DL. El Marias. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Rhonda. Hi, Lisa. <laughs> I did not catch you and Tanya this afternoon. I saw you were on, but I'll tell you, I was just kind of, I was lagging this afternoon in my personal life. Welcome, Lisa. Rhonda's here. Lisa's here. Hi. Hi, Trace. Welcome, welcome. Trace, was it you that I saw that you finished your Art Nouveau journal, Rosemary's Art Nouveau journal? It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Terry, Terry L, welcome, welcome. Sherry, hi, Sherry. Beautiful. Hi, Connie Stanley. Welcome, welcome. Clint, crafting and Bible study. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, everybody. Thanks for popping in on a Sunday evening. Ah, Mina has little kitty cats and hearts and paws and spring flowers. <laughs> okay, so let me plug you back in now. And I'm going to have to keep an eye on my, my phone up above. The charger is working intermittently intermittently so it said it was a hundred percent when I plugged it in but if I'm using it and it goes down to like 95 and doesn't recharge then I'm in trouble let's put this over here what I want to do and of course it has tape on it here is I want to get past this little part that I tore off well, in fact, I think, I think I'm good if I cut from here to just a little over that line. Let's try to cut some of this off from here to a little over this line. Okay. And I'm just going to play with this. It's adhesive foil. And it, it just sticks like Double-sided tape almost. Anyway, the piece that I tore off earlier did. And that's kind of what I was expecting. You cannot use this with... And let me show it to you now while I'm pulling this out here. I was at Hobby Lobby, oh, several weeks ago. And this was on sale. This is one of those We Are Memory Keepers uh, foil quill pins. And it was $40, and it was on sale for $25. So I went ahead and bought it, but I never used it. But you have to have a um, heat-reactive foil. The, ad the adhesive foil does not work with this the way I understand it. And that's okay with me. I've got plenty of uses for this. So I have some heat-reactive foil coming. And what I want to do is once I get that heat-reactive foil and have my stencils cut... I'm going to do some foiling on the cover of this book. And maybe a couple of my others. But for right now, for right now, and I might, I still have my Christmas money. That All those gift cards that Dee Dee and the, the money that Lucia and, and Lori sent me, I haven't spent a penny of it yet. I've been spending my own money. I might invest, they've got four different styles of pens here. And you have to buy the pen itself. This happens to be the calligraphy one. I thought, well, it's got like the chisel tip. And I thought I could draw with that and still get a variant of lines if I wanted. So I think I'm going to go ahead and invest in the other three. I think you can buy them as a set. I'm going to test this one out and see how I like it. But I, I think that would be a nice investment when I get things with the money that you guys send me, and I am going to spend this on myself because it's Christmas present. It's Christmas present. <laughs> and uh, 
I like to get something that I can use long term. That every time, I like those scissors. Every time I use it, I'll think of Dee Dee and Lucia and Lori, pink girly. All right. So I think I want maybe about four. Let me cut it off right here. And let me get a good cut here. I think that's pretty good. And, and we'll just play with some of this tonight. This might go good in my Art Nouveau, too. All right. Now, I think I said, and let's just measure again, just to be sure. See, I just want the strip to run up and down this way. So, and I'm going to cut it about about half of one of these blocks so here and just a little above I guess I could go on that line but is it gonna keep straight I think I have to go just a little above that line I can always trim off I can always trim off and so, and I think it was the second cut, so I want to go a little above it. Right about there, I believe. And I'll use this to play with. I think the hardest part of this is going to be getting the adhesive off. I had a little bit of trouble getting the adhesive off. All right, so now I'm just going to cut about half of this if I can. And it may not be straight, but hopefully it will be. So there's one. And I think I want four of them. We shall see, and I'll probably need eight of them because I'm <laughs> I'm learning. This is the first time I've used this. My first reaction is to this, it curls. But it's made to go, it's made to work with a Cricut machine. It's not made to, it's made to work with their Cricut machine. And yes, I'm glad I did not invest in the Cricut. I invested in a Pazzles. Of course, it's in Wisconsin. <laughs> but it's it's an old model. They've updated the... They have updated the software several times since I bought mine. But I like the Pazzles. And the reason that I... I don't... I'm, I think Pazzles is still in business. Um, they're a little bit more um, private. They're not a they're not a well known, but they are a nice die cutter. And even back then, this is kind of hard to get straight. Even back then, let's put it this way. Even if I can't follow the line. Maybe trying to follow the line is what's throwing me off. I'm still getting a nice cut. I need four of these. And I think that one's a little more slender. Because I'm following this. And... I want to go here. It just doesn't seem. All right.
one's way fat. Let me cut another one a little bit more slender. That worked. Okay, let's see what I have here. Welcome to everybody who's coming in. Hi, Angela. And Rhonda. Hi, Kimberly. Welcome, welcome, ladies. I'm cutting. This is some Cricut adhesive foil. I just, I, I think I got this at Hobby Lobby. But uh, I don't know if they were having a sale on it or what. But I bought a roll of the gold. I thought I'll use it for something or other. What I want to do is put it here and then when I get the adhesive foil I'm gonna foil, and then I want to put another piece over here and I think this sticks pretty good but the issue I think and I don't know how it is if you use the Cricut itself but I think the issue is going to be getting the release paper off but if it's, oh, there we go. Maybe I won't have such a, a bad time of it after all. Come on. Okay, now, where, where, did I put my ruler back? I'm always doing something with my ruler. I didn't think I put it back, but it was my, let's get this out. Let's just try to line it up with the ruler. And I'm going to try Becky's technique of pulling it down and bending it. Well, actually, I'm going to put it over on this other side first. Because I can just follow the... Follow this. Have any of you ever used this Cricut foil? Do any of you have a Cricut machine? If you do, you might want to listen to the Frugal Crafters Saturday chat. She had some interesting comments about Cricut this week. I like to listen to Lindsay. I like her chats. I like to hear what's on her mind. All right, I'm going to burnish this down pretty good, I think with the back of my palette knife. But I think it's made to stick. It's made to stick. Ooh, I like that. I might need to trim it just a bit on the side here, on the bottom. Just a teensy bit, if I can get my scissors in there. I don't know. Coming at it the wrong way. Well, maybe, maybe not. Maybe I'll just leave it. All right, now let's try this. And I think I'm just going to do it an inch, whatever the width of the ruler is. I think it's a little bit more than an inch. Take one of these smaller, slender ones. And we're just going to run it along the edge and straight down. And my needle, 
the way I'm getting this off is I'm sticking my needle in and I'm trying to come between the release paper and the foil. As you just kind of need to wedge your needle in between. You don't want to go through the foil. You want to go in between them. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I'm in between them. And then kind of wiggle it a little until you can release it from the foil, release the paper from the foil. All right. I can't wait till I get the heat reactive because I'm anxious. I was watching, uh, I think it was Nick the Booksmith who did a video. There are a lot of foiling videos out there on how to foil and what products to use and what to use with what. And, and uh, there were a lot of interesting if you've never foiled before just watching those videos you'll learn you can learn anything on youtube i'm just gonna pull this whole paper off grab a hold of it down at the bottom and see if i can't just keep my ruler and put this reasonably straight and burnish it down. That's pretty good. And then when I get my other foil, I might put little flowers down there. Or I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking I got that Art Nouveau on my brain. But I could take the rest that I have cut off here and cut rectangles or squares. I could do something else in here, but I think I'm gonna wait till I get the heat reactive stuff. I just wanna I wanna burnish this down. And we'll see how long this lasts. I'm liking it. It looks nice. I did put a satin varnish on over this. Alright, let's do the other one. That one's, is that the thick one? Yeah, let's use these two. So this roll cost me, I, I think I probably got it when it was on sale. Because I, I buy stuff like this on sale. I very rarely, or if I have a coupon. <laughs> Gone are the coupon days, huh? This is not entirely white the same width but for, for these it's okay um a roll like this i think it's four feet by 12 or something like that and uh i think i paid about 12 dollars for it just but but as little as i foil it's it's okay you can buy this at Walmart. Walmart supports all this stuff. Has all sorts of different colors. I'm not into foiling that much, but I thought it would be fun to play with on these journals. And just to learn the technique. I'll put this even with the... And this is not, this is wider at the bottom than at the top, but that's all right. I'm okay with that. I don't know if that'll stay, but we'll see. My crazy cutting. All right, and then I want to put the last piece over here. I, 
I don't know if you can buy this foil at heat reactive foil at uh, the Dollar Tree. I never really looked for it or Dollar General. I don't know if you can buy it there. I ordered some online at Amazon. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Give our needle back to Penelope or the pen back to Penelope. And keep my ruler a little straight and see if I can't get this reasonably. I can't, I have a hard time seeing where I'm going when I work under the camera. If it was just me, I'd have my nose right up to it. But I don't think you guys want to see the back of my head. And if it's reasonably straight, I'm happy. There we go. Alrighty, that's really all I wanted to do in this for now. When I get the heat reactive foil, should come sometime in the next seven days, in the next week, I will play some more with my stencils on here. Alright, I am happy. I am a happy camper. This is the back. So when I when I put my other journals, the other foiling on, I'll differentiate the front from the back. But generally, the front, your pages are always facing off to your right. And I might do some more in here, but not for now. This is going to be a writing journal. This will get all messed up knowing Mary. But I like this. I wanted to try that. So there. I'm going to call that a success. Let's come and talk to you guys again. I don't like to ignore all my wonderful visitors. Hi, Tanya. Welcome, welcome, Tanya. Tanya, are you leaving? I thought you were leaving, and then I saw your little, your little character. Was it a troll in the window saying, when are we going? Did you get a hold up? Did you get another hold up on vacation? Hi, Tim. Welcome, Tim. I got your video, Tim. Um, next week, and this is a good time to stop for announcements. Next, um, well, it, actually, it's this coming Saturday. I get my dates mixed up. The fourth set. <clears throat> Let me look at the calendar and make sure I'm right. Let me look at the calendar to make sure I'm saying it right. It's next Saturday. It's the fourth Saturday. The 27th is our video hop. It, and uh, looks like somebody sent me a message here. Uh, is a video hop. And it's just, uh, it, we, it'll go live at 530 Central Time. And you just hop through the links at your leisure. And then next Sunday night, we are doing the live stream hop, the fourth Sunday live stream hop. And uh, I went through a bit of a panic mode this afternoon because we were discussing the topic. And I looked at the calendar and I go, one, two, three, four. And I go, oh, no, really, it should be today. It should be tonight. This is the fourth Sunday, but we're going to do it next Sunday night. This is really the fourth Sunday, but we're going to do it on the fifth. No, one, two. 
Oh, one, two, three, four. No, this is next week's the fourth Sunday. I'm sorry. Mary's counted the three up here. Um, and the three is, I mean, the Sunday up here is the 28th of February. <clears throat> next Sunday is the fourth Sunday. We're going to do a live stream hop Sunday night. And Keisha's going to be our first streamer. And we changed the theme this afternoon. And I think I'll go ahead and announce the theme so that you guys can. I, I don't have the schedule for it out there yet. But it will be essentially the same people playing. And the theme is going to be mini books. Little mini. And it's just going to be mini books. However, However they interpret it, I have no idea whether it's going to be art journals or little books or collage books, little mini glue books. So uh, I'm excited about it. I, I love to do it. And, and they can be tiny. They can be ATC size. They can be probably smaller than four by six. I would call a mini book. A, a five by seven is still mini, but it's get, that's more of a mini of a, a medium sized journal, a five by seven and up. So we're going to do little mini books, and I'm real excited about it. I'm just glad it's not tonight because I wasn't prepared for tonight. <laughs> I went in a bit of a panic mode. Tanya says. We are leaving on Tuesday, and yes, we are delayed, but we will leave Tuesday. <laughs> I, I subscribe to your channel, Tanya. Tanya, if you if you want to, I don't know if you want to release it here or not, but you if uh, you can give the link to your channel. You're a mod, Tanya. You Tanya, you can give a a link to your regular channel, and if you so wish, you can do a link to your travel channel. Tanya started a ta uh, channel just for their travels. So she's going to go get the links. Hi, Marjorie. Welcome, Marjorie. Marjorie said, well, it was 65 degrees today, but don't let the wind catch you coming around the corner. <laughs> I didn't get outside today, but I looked out and we got those little snowdrop cro cro crocuses coming up. I'm going to go out and do a video of them. And then we got some little yellow crocuses coming up. And I don't think our daffodils are up, but the the um, lilies are poking their heads through. Yay! Angela's here. She said hello to Tanya. Do, 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 do. They're saying hello out there. Hello, 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 they're saying. Holly must have won something from Tanya. Woohoo! Yay, Holly! Tanya said hi. Lisa says she's here and doing good. Angela said, yes, Lisa. I have to behave. No getting in trouble. <laughs> Deborah Brown. Hi, Deborah Brown. Welcome, welcome. How are you doing today? I hope you're feeling better. Hello, hello. Terry is here. Janet. Hi, Janet Baum. Hello, hello. I had to scroll back, but I see you now. Welcome, Janet. Uh, Terry. Last week, they said they were going to start charging people a monthly cost in order to do it. In order to do what? Terry, when the Cricut first came out, oh yeah, yeah, when Cricut first came out with their machine, they said that you could create all your own images for the machine because you can attach it to a computer forever, and there's no charge to it, but now they're going, last week they said they were going to be charging people a monthly cost in order to do it, and if I understood, I listened to all of Lindsay because I found it very interesting, uh, I, I like to listen to Lindsay's opinion, <laughs> And uh, she did say they backtracked a little on it. So I'm not sure what it's going to be, but I was going, well, I'm glad that I couldn't afford it back then. <laughs> I didn't buy one. They were tempting, but what kept me from buying one is when they first came out, you had to buy those cartridges. And uh, I thought, well, and they were expensive. I'm going, I want to draw my own stuff. <laughs> And cut it out. 
And that's why I went with the puzzles. Well, at first I went with the Zyron. Zyron had a little kind of a one of the forerunners of cutting machines. And it was kind of complicated thing. You had to know what you were doing. You had to kind of be techie savvy. And uh, I ran it a couple of times, but I didn't really, you could design your own stuff on it, I think. I can't remember. I gave it away. I gave it to one of my programming buddies. And she said her husband was going to try to get up and go on it. I don't know if they ever did or not. I just said, take it. I didn't want it. I had the puzzles. And I liked my puzzles. Um, then they updated their software, and then my software started getting out of date, and and I went between jobs and had to do a move, and I just never caught up with the software updates. So I I don't know if the I had one of the first models coming out on puzzles, and I'm not sure. I don't really think that their software would work with the older it might um okay i do have a puzzles machine it's in wisconsin she okay tanya put a link to her first video on the travel channel you can also put a link to your regular channel if you want and uh lisa too if if one of the mods would put a, Lisa's here, you you can too if you want, Lisa. Put a link to your channel. I I do have on my slate tonight to work in my mystery journal. Thank you, Janet. Janet put a link to the Fibsville Friends Facebook group. If you're not a member, go click on that link. And when you get the questions, the answer the questions so they can approve you. Tim says, hi, Lisa. Janet says, link to Mary's community tab. Thank you. Um, and I will be putting up the, the schedule to next Sunday nights. I cannot put up a schedule to the Saturday hop because um, it's a hop. <laughs> and if I put up all the links, I, I, what I'll do is afterwards I'll put up a playlist. <clears throat> but... The hop won't go live till next Saturday morning at 5.30. So I can't put up a link to a whole bunch of private videos. <laughs> oh, a schedule, I mean. Thank you, Lisa. Okay, so let's move along. Let's move along. Let me plug you guys back in. Uh-oh, what did I do with the... Here you are. Let me plug you back in. And let me check my phone and make sure that it's charging. Because if it's not charging, I'm going to have to. Yeah, see, it says 79%. I'm going to. Um, I'm going to see if I can't. I'm going to take this off the hook. Uh, if I lose you guys, I'll come back in, okay? You're going to see nothing but my hand here for a minute. Let's see if I can get this going here, charging. I'm going to have to pull the charger out and see if I can't get it going back again. I don't know why it's not charging for me. I'm going to turn you guys. It says rotate device. Uh, I might have to, I might have to sign off and come back in. Uh, my charger's not working. And I've got 79% and it's not, it's not charging. I don't know what you guys... We are leaving on Tuesday, Tanya says. Oh, okay, wait, let me. Well, I hate this. Silly phone.
You guys, I'm going to set you down on my table and you might see nothing but white or black. You're going to see nothing but black, but I'm here. I'm going to I'm going to mess with my charger down here on the the device down here. Unplug it and plug it back in. I guess they say, oh, these things are guaranteed for life. Well, next time I buy one of these guaranteed for life ones, I'm going to make sure I save all the packaging. And I got it at Verizon. But I switched new phones, and I think I need to switch a new charger, too. Because these streams eat up. Oh, you guys are upside down. They eat up the... Okay, it's charging now. It's charging now. So hopefully I can get it back on the clamp. If I'm careful, and it'll still be charging. You're on the clamp, and it's still charging. Whew! I'm not going to touch it. I'll have to check it maybe in about 15 minutes or so. Sorry about that. Thank you for being patient with my... This is how it's been for the last week. This tires me out. <laughs> and that's one thing uh, that... Uh, Lindsay, the frugal crafter, said... She says, all this techie stuff. She says, it just tires her out. All right, let's work on my Rolodex cards. We got this Rolodex cards from... Uh, Annie V and the Happy Mail. And I don't think I'm going to do a... I, I don't want to do something simple. I think what I'm going to do... And I'm not going to zoom in. Um, yeah, what did I do with... See if I can't put something behind this so that you can see the card. That's what I was working on the other night. Because I'm afraid if I zoom in, I'll mess up the charging. I'm just going to see if I can grab some of that washi tape that I threw in here, right here, and put that on there. And maybe uh, some Tim Holtz ephemera or something. Oh, let's, oh, this is good. Let me paint the bottom here. And what color should I paint it? Let's paint it. Yeah, I like my little lace thing on my paint stand here to cover it up, but it's awfully hard to get to my paint, so I'm taking it off. Mary's talking to herself. Let's paint it rich espresso. And you guys, I had so much fun. Uh, I was cutting stencils Friday night, and it was pretty late. It was pretty late. Well, it wasn't real late, but it was one of the later things that I worked on. Oh, that's skinny. Let me reach in here and get a brush. A craft brush. But I had so much fun, I got started carving them, and then I couldn't stop. This is Deco Art uh, Rich, Rich Espresso Metallic Paint. And I'm just going to paint the bottom of this. I might come on, come in, and after I get my fabric tape on, come in and paint around the edges. But these Rolodex cards are fun to do. So, Tanya and Lisa, you're still in here. What did you guys work on this afternoon? I did not make it in. Alrighty. I imagine Tanya worked on her journal. Are you still making zines, Tanya? I got a photograph from Arlene that has these older gentlemen on it. And I want to make a zine. I want to draw those gentlemen. That'll be my next zine. No, it's okay if I go up far. It doesn't matter. I'm going to cover it anyway. Uh, working out of the cap here.
little heat gun alert. Lisa says, pray you are doing better, Deborah. Feel better, Deborah. Mary might need a new block the part you Mary might need a new what what is she saying? Mary might need a new block the part you put the cord into. Oh, the little I might yeah, I might need one of those little plug-ins with the UCB cable. Is that what you're talking about? Those aren't too expensive. I could get a new one of those. It has a red uh, a green line on it though. However, that doesn't really mean anything. Okay, I'm just going to put this fabric tape on this side first. And we're going to cut it with my old scissors because I think I'll put it on first, though. And let's get my needle out. Again, the same way of getting this needle, the, this release paper off, I find it's easy. If you just get your needle, it's a little harder on this because it's tape. But if you get your needle between the tape and the release paper, you want the tape to stay on the fabric. And you want to pull the paper off. It's not totally easy, but if you can, or even if you can tear that paper off. But see if I, I got my needle right between the tape and the paper. And that's... The easiest way, well, not the easiest way, that's a way <laughs> to get this started when you're putting this stuff on, when you're taking the release paper off. All right, let's just put it on down here, hopefully. Oh, of course it's not straight, but if I tape around it, it isn't going to make a difference. I don't know why I've got a crooked eye. I got a crooked eye. Alrighty. And let's pull it down. That's pretty good. All right. So now I'm just going to cut it off at the edge here. Or I could just go around. Shall I just go around? Let's just go around it. Let's see how that works. I don't think it's going to go completely around. But that's okay. I, I'll put a little snip of something on it. Yeah, it's about it. And it's not cut straight on the... It's got a little wrinkle in it. That's all right. I, that's what I said. I was going to put paint around the edge. But let's put something here. I got another piece of washi, I think, in here. I got some of this. Let's just snip off a little. Let's snip it off of, off of this. Oh, well, let's do about half of it. Let's just go over about half of it. Hold it in my hand here. And these scissors are even seeing their day, even on this stuff. I cut paint bottles with it. All right, where's my needle? I had it out here. Maybe I put it back. Here's one. Grab in between the paper and the tape if you can. Right in between the paper and the tape if you can. It's not Always easy. And 
And sometimes it helps to kind of tear it. There we go. There we go. And then I'm going to take it all off. And we're just going to put it. It's hard for me to see brown on brown. Let me. Ah! I can't do this. Now it's white on white. Let me get it up closer to my face. It doesn't have to be perfect. There we go. And I know this is probably looking a little far away from you got for you guys, but I don't want to mess with that camera. If it's charging, I want it to be charging. I'll have to get up in a minute and check it. But okay, now the next thing I'm gonna do is the reason I didn't put my paint away is I'm gonna paint around the edge here. get it all arts it up you that's a lot Mary I know Got a lot of paint there on that edge. And my hand is kind of shaky, I apologize. For any shaking you're seeing. But I can't get some of that off. All right, let's set that down and give it a dry. Now this is metallic paint, so. It has a little bit longer of a cure time, even when it's dry. I don't like putting things like ATC cards together if they have a metallic edge to them because they'll stick. If you send them through the mail, they go through those mailing machines and everything. I learned my lesson. I learned my lesson. After you get embarrassed with it once or twice, you won't do it anymore. I'm having to dip my brush down in, and it's getting a lot of paint on it. Central business. This is Tim Holtz fabric, matte fabric. It's probably London or something, if I remember right. All righty wash my brush off. I'm not going to worry about saving any paint or anything on that. Put my paint away. Take my fabric pieces and the scraps and tuck them back in the bag. And they just get tossed in, crumbled in. It's just a scrap bag. Got some of it has washi tape on it. Some of it has that press and that iron and press tape on it. That's foil. We might put that on there. Now, let's see what I can find here. As far as a Tim Holtz image. this. 
Oh, those are my little. Yeah. They're never right here when you want them. Hold the phone. I saw them this afternoon when I was cleaning. See if I can put my hands on them. If I can't, I'll use a fussy cut of some sort. Oh, look, I found them. I thought they were over here. I like these little... I like these photo packs. We could use that, but let's... I'm not sure I want to... Let's try this a little more. I got gold fingers. I don't care if it's messy. It's meant to be messy. It's meant to be messy. This is not meant to be a ooh neat project. I would utterly fail at ooh and neat. Well, that's kind of resting. Let's pick out a... And I'm going to have to have one that has the... <sighs> I thought I had one that had the horizontal. Those are larger. Like this. This is perfect. This is perfect. This will go on the pack. Only I could put it at a slant like that and be happy with it. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Now, what about the other side, though? What do I want to do with that? Do I want something on it? I don't think so. Unless I can find one that calls to me. These are all larger. They're kind of cool photographs. All right, they're not saying anything. For the rest of this project, I might just put that gold piece on the back and maybe a word. I need a word. And did I get his? Okay, let's play with this. Let's put this on. Let's cut it here. My needle. There's my other needle that I was looking for. How do I want to put it? Just like, just like that, I think. What I should have on this is a picture, since this is a central business, I should have a picture of one of those old stores with the storekeeper standing out front. But I don't have that right at hand, and I'm not going to go looking for it. We'll do it another time. Come on. Yeah, we're just going to put it right like that. And on here, I am going to... Whoops, I put it on the wrong side. Well, I guess we'll... I don't want to put these on here because it'll cover up my... I 
guess we'll still put them on here. We'll leave that little gold showing. That was an oopsie. Where's that other piece of this? We'll put this on the other side. I like the diagonal, my stuff. I like diagonals. Scissors are, well, they need to be clean for one thing. But they are seeing their day. Am I going to get it without the pen? Oh, no, I'm good. Oh, I tore it. Well, let's go ahead and see if I can't get it off. That was interesting. It didn't all come off here. I like that and then on this side I have to be sure that I have my words the right way it has to go this way and I'm gonna put that photo down there but I feel like it needs something Just play with your art. This is just a Rolodex card. Tim Holtz found rel. Well, these aren't found relatives. These. This is a photo pack. It's. Uh, what did he do with it? I don't know the name of it. All right. I think. I want it like this. And we're just going to color this in. Alrighty. Central business. All right. And since Annie V sent me this tape, I'm going to use it. It's sitting out here right at my hand, so I'm going to use it. Annie V sent me two boxes of goodies. Bless her heart. And these Rolodex cards. Were a part of what she sent me. And 
let's just run this one here. And another way to get this tape release off, I've learned this from Tim Holtz. He uses his pokey tool, his little, but I find my palette knife works really good at reaching underneath and getting that off. Now, that says central business. So I want to flip it this way. And I want to be sure that this is covered. So they're going to look like that. <laughs> That's good. All right. Now let's cut the, the little sprockets. Well, it make it, and I am, I am way out, aren't I? Let's check my, let's see if it's still charging. It says it's charging. Let me zoom in just a little. Am I still charging? I'm still charging. Woo! <laughs> Uh-oh, there it is. It's already out from the other nine. Cutting that on here. And we're going to cut these little sprocket holes. And I have to cut them with my knife. I, I know there are little punches for these, but I don't have that. I don't mind cutting them with my knife. However, I think I'll take my scissors and cut here and here. Do those two long cuts there and there. And then come in with my... No, I'm not going to cut my finger. I'm being careful. I really am. So I'm having to cut through that duct tape. Two layers of it, the front and the back. I put that on both the front and the back. And it looks like a mess now, but I generally get it pretty good. Come on. Just takes a lot of patience.
It's almost out. There we go. Just enough for it to grab onto the little sprockets to grab onto here on the back is really all it needs. On, on the bottom, I mean. And it doesn't have to be a beautiful, if you can get a beautiful one, but this is tape. And this one's going to be easier because I don't have so many layers to go through. This one will be pretty easy. Just do it with my scissors. There. So it's not too neat. I can't make it a little neater. Alrighty. Let's put this one back. Now I need a word. I need a word. Let's take this off. Oops. Yeah, let's see. I thought I had those black and gold words out, but I might have moved them. Let me find a word. I have some words. I do have some words. And I knew right where they were. Those are stamps. I could stamp something, but let's see. Favorite tales, admission, hearts have all things, small contributions, cast of characters. Now is the time. Mr. M. Tibbets. I like that. M. Tibbets. I don't know who M. Tibbets is, but he's going on here. And Mary doesn't trust. I do not trust the adhesive. Especially since I'm going to. So I'm going to run this across my. Of course, it took the gunk off of my fingers fine. I'm going to put M. Tibbets up here. And I think I'll put something across that gold. This is that snarky pack. I don't care for the snarky stuff. I'm not a snarky person. I'm not snarky. This is all snarky. That's I very seldom use that. I just it doesn't it doesn't resonate with me. When nothing is sure, everything is possible. Ooh, I like that. When nothing is sure, everything is possible. Let's use that one. And that'll fit right across, except for I'm going to, I'm going to put glue on it. I don't know if it'll help or not, but I'm going to put, glue stick on it. When nothing is sure, everything is possible. 
I like that. Now I need something right in there, don't I? How about... Let's put these away. How about just taking a little snip of this? I'll put my glue stick away. Put my words. Oh, wait, I could put a little one of these. How about the X's and the O's or today? Could put a little sticker on it. A little planner sticker. I got these in Happy Mail, I believe. I think I'll use the hello. And do the glue stick thing again. Just put it right down in there and let it be crooked. Nah. Let's move it. And I think I'm going to call that done. I should put words on here. Where's that black? Let's put black around the edges here. Touch it up a little. It'll clean out the... A little of the... Rough cut here. Let's find a word for up here, or even a, oh, let's do a word. Always take the scenic route. I like that. Where did I see that? Always take the scenic route. Out. And I don't trust I don't trust the adhesive. I'll hold it up. I'm going to call it done. I'll hold it up where you guys can see it better. Let me put my words away here. I have some more things I want to work on tonight. I want to work in, I've been wanting to work in Lisa's mystery journal for the longest time. Yep, I'm doing another Relidex card. It's done. Always take the scenic route. Tim Holtz photo pack and Tim Holtz fabric in the back. Espresso metallic around the edges. A little uh, gold foil on there. And this is Tim Holtz fabric again. And this says, when nothing is sure, everything is possible. I like that. So what am I gonna file this under? Take the scenic route, scenic route under S for scenic route. That's what I'm going to do under S for scenic route. That should be for Tanya McGuire. She, they're going to take the scenic route when they travel. And I might have to come in here and make sure that they fit okay. 
seems to be okay. And it will, it's flipping. And they're going to be sticking out. I'm not trying to do anything that's going to be perfectly flat with everything. So I might end up taking my alphabet out, but we'll leave it for now. So let's put my scissors away. Put these four scissors away. Put my palette knife and my exacto knife and my pen and my glue stick away. If I do this while I'm working, if I do this while I'm working, there's some then I'm more apt to find things when I want them. I'm more apt to find things when I want them. Okay, I'm going to come out and chat a little. I'm going to come chat, and then I'm going to check my phone, make sure it's charging. Yeah, I might need one of those little square adapters that fit into the, into the wall, the UCB adapter. Allie, sorry you missed out on the cookies, Rhonda said. I put them I, I put out cookies, but Holly ate them all. Cheryl was okay with it because thank goodness she had dessert. <laughs> you guys. No, nope, no cookies. Holly ate all the cookies. What's the word of the day? There's no word. It's a quote. It's always take the scenic route. I guess the word would be hello. That's what's on the little sticker on the back was hello. The word of the day is cookie. Don't like the change. Perhaps too lazy, Holly said. Holly, I didn't know that. I always wonder why states have it and some don't. Oh, we're talking about daylight savings time. Yeah. <laughs> it's really weird. It's almost eight o'clock and the and it's still light out. It's still light out. Well, it's seven thirty. It's almost seven thirty and it's still light out here. Next time try a hole punch. I don't have one of those little punches. I don't have one of those little punches. And the other thing is I had um uh, that duct tape in the between and I didn't want to gum it up. If I would have had a punch, I wouldn't have wanted to come up my punch. Holly said it's only five there. Lisa says I gotta go. I got to get a few things done. Have a great weekend. Rest what's left of it, Lisa. Angie says, Mary, mine did that too. I had to get a new charger. Yeah, I had to get a new charger. They say when I bought this charger at Verizon, they say, oh, it's got a lifetime warranty on it. And I don't think I saved the packaging. I'll get another one, but I'm going to tell them this time, you know, this time it's, I'm going to save the packaging, you know, because these lifetime warranties, they go by the fact that you don't save the packaging. Uh, and that'll cost me, it's a good charger. It's not broken or anything. It's just wearing out. It's not charging up my phone. And that's what, it happened to me before. Only on the other one that I had, the, you know, the little wires were, were breaking off. This one is pretty good as far as the wiring. Do, 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 do. What else is going on here? Hi, Barbara Chicken Pot Pie Society. Hi, Candy. Candy, I hope you're feeling better. Rhonda says, Holly and Cheryl, I just happen to have two chairs in the corner. On with the letter H and C. <laughs> Aw. Oh, there's Ann Lar. If you're out there listening yet, Ann, hello, hello. Ann Lar helped me do some testing of Google Meet. I'd never used Google Meet before, and Ann Lar helped me out there this past week. Thank you for doing that, Ann. Angie is here, Angie Brown, Cheryl, Rhonda, Holly, Ann, Barbara, Lisa, Tanya, and Barbara said, Hi, Lisa, I had internet issues today, so I only caught a bit of your stream with, Ta with Tanya. Thank goodness for replay. All right, I think I'm up to Mary. You might need a new block, the part that... Oh, that's what Terry said. 
the part that you put the cord into. Yeah, it could be that little block thing too, the, that has the little UCB adapter and you put the charger into that. That would be a lot cheaper. It's, it, uh, it's charging if I don't bump it. If I don't bump it, if I get it charging and just leave it alone, it charges up back up to 100. And that's what hopefully is happening now. The last time I looked. And we're back up to where Tanya put in the link for her travel journal. Candy's here. Holly said it's still sunny. Okay, well... Let's move on and do some more. I think I'll work in my mystery journal. I have several things I want to do tonight. But since I put off doing the mystery journal the other night, let's work in my mystery journal. And here it is so far. Nothing on the page. I'm going to move the Relodex card. Uh, <laughs> somewhere here. Okay. So I'm very happy with how this came together. Yeah. Oh, and we were stitching. That's what I was doing. I'm going to leave my stitch page. I'm not going to do that. I'm still doing stitching on this. But you know what I wanted to do here is I wanted to put gold coins. I wanted to put gold. And I have these. This would work good for gold. But I don't know if I want to do it with that metallic. I think I'll just use gold paint. Um like marigold or something like that. And this is scrap. So uh, I decided this page has too much green. Now I'm really zoomed in, aren't I? You aren't seeing. All right, I need to check the charger anyway. Let's see. It is charging. So let's zoom out. And hopefully I can tip the phone. And make sure it's still, I might have to just push my book up. Now let's make sure it's still charged, still charging. Okay, hold your breath. There's my ruler. Put that away. All right. Ooh, I could put this gold on here. I wonder if I could punch this. Let's punch some circles. Let's make some gold coins. Let's get out the punch. That would be fun, rather than paint. Whoops. <laughs> oh dear, you just have to laugh. I just have to laugh at what I have here. All right, let's try this. This. This said it was one inch in diameter. So let's, this, I got this the time that my brother went shopping with me. They had punches on sale. And I have one that's not quite an inch in diameter. And I have one that's one and a fourth inch. And this one says it's an inch. I got this in April, April 4th, in fact. That's when his first... COVID shot was April 4th. All right, let's throw this away. I don't want to keep it. It's just trash. I'm learning to throw stuff away. I'm going to keep this though. One inch, it says. Boy, that doesn't look like an inch. Does this look like an inch to you? Let's see. This looks like an inch. Well, from one. No, my inch comes out a little more. Let's see how it punches. I think there this is more of a three-fourths inch, but it doesn't matter for this. Yeah, I can't get the little pocket off. I don't like these. I take them off. All right, let's punch a couple of. These are adhesive. This is Cricut's. And I had this before I listened to hop to <laughs> Lindsay. Uh oh, it's not gonna punch it. It's not gonna punch it. I don't want to ruin my punch. Well, it was a good thought. 
let's uh let's punch a hole and then I'll paint. Let's get a stiffer board. I don't think it'll punch this either. These will not punch really thick stuff. Yeah, it's not going to punch that. It was a good thought while I had it. Um, I need some strong paper. Mixed media paper here. And we'll just do some quick. And I just want to do some stencils. Some stenciling. Let's measure this, though. Let's see this one. This one looks bigger than that other one. This one might be an inch. This one, just about an inch, yeah. This one is much larger than this one. Well, seems bigger to me. It's a little bigger. All right, Mary says it's an inch. Mary said she'll live with it. And I need a sponge. I had a sponge out here. This has black ink on it, but I think it's dry enough that I can use it. I'm just going to, I'm going to sponge in yellow paint, gold paint, uh, king's gold, king's gold. And let's put my punch away. We're going to call that an inch. Get out a little piece of waxed paper and fold it. And put it up here. Shake it up a little. It's just entirely too much green on this page. And this is craft paint, so it'll dry fast. Except for this deco art paint is really a, it's a, I find that it's a thin paint. And it, I guess I don't care if it's not. A beautiful circle. That's just not deep enough for me. I need some. Let's mix some. It's too transparent for me. Let's mix some apple barrel. Was that apple barrel? No, that was deco art. This is apple barrel. It's the same name. A little bit different color. I think the apple barrel is a little bit more of an opaque color. I don't like how thin sometimes the deco art paint is. Very thin paint. And you have to usually, if you want a nice coverage, you have to do more than one layer. I like the Americana paints, but I don't like that about them. This is getting away from me. Let's turn it this way. Uh, 
I guess I'll put a little white in there too. I don't, I want it to show up more than it is. I'm not liking, I'm not liking it. I want it to be a little bit brighter. I need to bring this closer to me. It's way away from my knee and I can't reach it what I'm doing. Oops, got a little got a little messy there. gold coins this is a a St. Patrick's Day layout and it was just too green for me it was too green so I'm putting gold coins on it whoops that got a little out of hand so I had something coming off there off in the back doesn't matter I'm happy I just want some lighter accents on it I think I'll punch another hole in it because it's getting wet let's punch another hole a couple more Shall we make them bigger? No, I think I want them all the same size. Yeah, the last one I pull out. I think I need a sip of tea. I don't mind that it's messy around the edge. That string is that string is what's causing it to be messy there. This was just my mess, I think. A page was getting wet. See, I'm going to leave the alphabet alone. I could let it dry a little before I lifted it up. That might be what's happening too, why the edges aren't nice and sharp. I'm putting it down and lifting it up. And my sponge is a little wet. I 
get it done here. Um, I'm about finished with this. I'm not going to worry about it drying because the paint's so thin that it's not going to matter too much. Alrighty. I'm about ready to call this done as far as getting the dots on their gold coins maybe I'll put one in here all right I'm I'm, I'm not gonna worry about it because it's really not that wet what I want to do is flip the page here and see how messy it is there. That's because I took that ink that I had the other day and I just smeared like I am here. You don't want to waste your 80 cent paint. There we go. And I don't know if I'll keep that or not. Let's throw this away. All right, let's get something out and put it in here. Um, I'm just going to leave. Well, it's a little damp. Let's give this a little dry. Heat gun alert. It's not too wet. It's just damp. Let's go to another page. I'm going to leave this one for now. Let me pick that sponge up. I don't want it here on the floor. Where it fell to. All right. So let's get out my my package of stuff. And I have stuff. I have a plethora of stuff we decided. And I'm going to put this in the bag. Oh, I could use this, couldn't I? We could use this. I like that. Let's go to a page that... All right, we're going to work on this page. Now let's see what else I can put in there. I'm going to use that area. And this is my mystery box. And I added some more stuff to it the other night. I added some text pages of Feather Falls. Chapter, chapter uh, 4, IV. We're in Freckles' faces trouble bravely and opens the way for new experiences let's do that one and i have my little faces and my color ad uh, let's see what i want to put on this page see, more text i don't think i'm going to put any more text on this is contact paper Oh, my Crayola box. 
Ooh, I like this. I like that. Let's keep the Crayola box out. Ooh. We can use some of the calendar page from... Oh, here, let's use this one. It's already torn. And... Some smears. Countdown to Christmas. Most of this is background, which is why I went in and put some of that text in there. That's scribbly. Easter. Easter. Easter's coming up. The paper sap. I don't know what that is. I have no idea what that is. Here's my pattern for my needlework piece. How about some funnies? I think that's about as far down as I'm going to go. I think that's enough. So let's pop this back stuff back in. Oh, this is, this is just a little of what I have. It's just, you guys understand. I know you do. I know you do. I'm just putting it in however I can get it in the box here. It's going in. It's going in. <laughs> Quick, close the lid. Oops, what's this? I got a little piece of plastic. Quick, close the lid. And what I don't use of this, I'm going to toss. Unless it's something I want to keep. <laughs> Unless it's something I want to keep. Let's start out with the... Oh, I got some... I was looking for those when I was doing that... Santo style. Like, let's start out with the funny pages. What's on the back? Let's just news. Let's just tear. And I'll probably paint these out. They're ripping anyway. I always like the little circus one. Ho, ho, ho. I don't get it. What Santa finds so funny. And I'm going to throw Ann Landers away. I don't... She says, the man let special anniversary pass without celebration. I'd write to Ann, too. What do you do with a man who lets all the anniversaries pass? And most of these will probably get painted out. I'll probably just do a wash over it. Well, let's tear it right about here. So we're going to put that there. And I know that says sports and comics, but we're going to throw all that away. I'm going to keep the Easter. And... Keep that, and I'm going to keep the text. I'm going to cut this, but before we cut that, let's put this down here. And let's, yeah. can you guys see? I don't think you can see too well. There, that's a little better. And I'm just going to kind of ripped cut this. Sometimes when I cut, I don't cut a straight line. I take my scissors and I pull this way and it tears the edges. And it depends on a thin paper. It depends on the weight of the paper, how successful you are. This is going pretty good. 
epoxy and it gives me a nice ragged edge. Uh, a stronger paper works better, but a thin paper sometimes you'll you'll tear tear it. But I like to do this when I'm cutting around hair, uh, a human's hair or a dog's fur, I, or maybe leaves or trees. I get that nice irregular edge that almost looks like a torn edge. And it is a torn edge, but it's a torn edge with your scissors. Yeah, I like that. I might like this word brights. Let's keep the word brights. All right, throw this away. All right, so what I want to do is collage this down first, and I'm going to leave the edge of the page. Let's get a sheet of waxed paper. This must be my older box because I'm getting toward the end of it. And welcome to everybody who's in here. If I haven't said hello to you yet, welcome, welcome. Thank you for coming. I'm going to save that. Maybe I'll save this. I haven't decided yet on that. Um, I want the towel. Uh, maybe two. I want to clean my my brush. I think I painted with black paint today when I did that. Journal. I painted the cover on that journal. I don't want black paint in my in my glue. And Suze would be saying, Mary, where's the other one? I sent you three packages. It's here somewhere. It's over there on my cart, buried with all the brushes. Too lazy to get it out. All right, we're going to put this down first. So let's grab my glue pot over here. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I look over there and I go, you guys don't want to see it. You don't want to see it over there. You don't want to see it behind me. And I'm just using Elmer School Glue because I'm not looking for super duper stuff. I'm just playing and having fun in my mystery journal using up my scraps and uh let's go ahead and put glue on the back of this i mixed just a little bit of water on it to to water it down just a teeny bit so it's not quite so thick and as you see i'm trying to hold that other stuff up and glue this part down okay This Arlene sent me as packing in the box of books that she sent. And we're going to use it. And I should get this scraper out. Let me get the air bubbles out as much as I can.
Oh, it's pretty good. Got a little wrinkling in here. It's all right. All righty. Now, while I have it out here, let's just put a little bit of paint on it and scrape it. And it'll dry pretty fast. We'll just let that dry, and then I'm going to come over on this side, and we're going to put the funny papers down. So I think I wanted this toward the outside, and this will all be probably painted over, mostly. Maybe I'll tear it here. these up here. Yeah. Let's put this one down first. And even if I can do one mystery journal page, I'm a happy camper. I'm a happy camper. And about the little ones. This uh, this is inspired by Lisa Conway at My Eclectic Life. She and Tanya will be getting together when Tanya goes through text. That'll be fun to watch. Those two get together every Tuesday and Thursday afternoon virtually. Alrighty. Now let's put this one down and then I'm going to smear it with paint. And I cut out the the really nice pictures here. I took them out of this book. There's still some nice pictures in here, but this is a jungle book. It has no real call to me as far as the theme and the subject. And it's the right size for a mystery journal. Now let's... Well, that glued down pretty good. So let's put some paint on this. I think I want a little bit more on here. I don't want these to show through too much. I just want them to want you to know there are comics behind here, but I don't want you to want I don't want them to be show that much. Just kind of get an idea that there are there's something behind there. Alright, I'm liking this. Let's get that glue in the water. Let's I might use that again. Alright, let's give it a heat gun alert. Heat gun alert! <coughs> I'm going to have a sip of tea while I'm doing this. Uh -oh. Put my multitask here. Put my gold chain away. I'm 
I got a little scratch in my throat. I'm falling off the edge of the screen, aren't I? My camera. Now let me push my journal back up a little more. Put my glue over here. Now, what I have here what I have here is this big black circle and I got these bunny rabbits and it has the PAS P-A-A-S I almost bought some of these little peeps some of those little peeps Easter's coming and I had I was marking off, this is part of when I was making that pattern for my needlework. I had to cut out a side of it. This is a side that I cut out. But I'm thinking, and this is a, a little raccoon and an owl. I don't know if you can see the owl too well. I sprayed walnut ink through there. I'm thinking about putting the bunnies inside here, but but cutting, tear cutting, tearing the image out along the edge here. We'll tear there and I'll cut the edge of the pot. So it'll be the lines on the pot will be nice and straight. Yeah. And I think I'm going to put them right in here, but let me kind of tear. We don't want this straight. We want it ripped and torn. It's hard to get a hold of it. Yeah. Alrighty. I was watching, uh, I sometimes like to watch those animal videos. Don't tell YouTube. I watch uh, I watch all those shorts. You guys watch the shorts. And then I'll go to my watch history and remove them all from my watch history. I like to watch the babies and I like to watch the animals. Uh, and if I get bored, I quit watching. But All right. This is like a little bunny rabbit uh, display in a like a garden pot, little stuffed bunny. We're gonna kind of like do an Easter page. I'm gonna put brights on there like that. But I need something, I think I'm not done with this yet. Let's, uh, I could take my ink and just I kind of like doing that. And let's do the green too. Just to give it some 
Ooh, that was black. Well, we'll have a little black in there. It'll match the black of that circle. Let's do some of the green up at the top. Around in there. And then this will go in here. Yeah. All right, let's do the other side. See, you don't even know those funnies are there. Let's see, do I want to do it on that? I think I'll hold off for a minute because I have something else I want to do over here. What happened to my word brights? We're going to put brights there. I kind of like that. Just maybe I'll put it in here. We'll see. And I might do something along the edge there. Let's leave these inks out a minute. So what I want to do, you guys saw me how I struggled with that carving that eraser. Where's my pen? Oh, and I can use the foil here too. Ooh, we'll keep that out. I might, I might have put it away. This bunny, we're going to draw a bunny on here. It's kind of wet. It's not wet, it's cool to the touch. Let's see how this goes. Usually my bunnies, when I draw them, look a lot better than the ones that I carve. That was the issue I was having the other night. My sketched bunnies looked like bunnies, but the time I, by the time I got them carved, they didn't look like bunnies anymore. And this one has a rounder head, and that's, that was the other issue I was having. I was not getting the round head. I'm going to make the round head here tonight. And then he's got a little nose. And I'm going to put the little mouth in here. And some little whisker marks. Now the eyes on this one, because this is a toy, this is a toy stuffed bunny, but I'm going to I'm going to put those same big eyes that were on the one that I did on my eraser. Cute little bunny. And that one had big eyelashes. And well, let's see. And then I put a, a bow tie. Give it a bow tie. And the eye will be, I'll, I think I'll paint it in blue. And the bunny itself is a tan color. Mm, he's, see this one has a bow tie on. This one has a bow tie. It's a pretty bow tie. It has the, the little fabric coming down this way. And what, what happens to the hands here? The hands just barely. You don't even have to do the hands. And then there's a little lamb. Can I do a little lamb? Little chick? Let's do the little chick. Let's see if I can do the little chick in here. The little chick has a, a round head and a little eye. Has the little beak. And it comes down like that, and like that, and we'll make it like that. And put a couple of eggs in here. 
I that bunny just does not know why he has to deliver eggs. He says, I don't lay eggs. That's the chicken's responsibility. Why am I having to deliver eggs? And I don't know if I can get the lamb. The lamb is cute. Let's see if I can get him in here. If I if I don't get him in, I'll paint him out. He's got a little ear coming this way. He's got a little eye here. And his nose comes down like, like that. Like that. And his other ear kind of comes in here. That eye is rounder. You don't really see the eye over here. That ear comes up a little more. And then he's got a little nose here. Yeah, I can kind of see him. All right, I'm, I'm kind of happy with that. Now, we're just going to leave that there. I might do some more. Let's see what I want to do in the background. I think I'll take that blue and go around in here. And the teddy bear, I think I'll put another egg in here just to kind of cover up that teddy bear where we don't know what's happening to him. And maybe another egg. I'll just pile eggs over here. Easter eggs. And... There's flowers in there, maybe flowers. Maybe some flowers up in here too. I gotta get them up to my nose. Ah, looks like they're daffodils. and Looks like they're daffodils. It's been a long time since I drew a daffodil. Something like that this and another petal coming that way we'll put some daisies in there just because and there's some leaves I'm going to paint this out let's put another daffodil over this way and make it go out like this and I think we decided last year I was putting six petals around there and there are only five or there were five six and I put five I can't remember I was doing the wrong number of petals on my daffodil I think I was putting six and there are only five and let's put a couple of eggs in here. And let's put one in here. And maybe a daffodil up in here. Uh, and a daisy. Uh, something like, like that. Doesn't have to be perfect. Now let's put some daisies in there. Maybe a daisy coming on down in here. Oh, I'm kind of liking that. And put brights there just to have it. Just because it was part of my mystery journal. And this little bunny needs a a little eye, oops, and the, these little eyes get to look a little creepy until you paint them. When you paint them, they look better, but that's the white of the eye. It looks a little creepy until you get them painted. And they blend in. All right, we'll leave it like that. And uh, 
Let's see, but I do think what I'll do is kind of sketchy outline around here where I'm going to put this. All right. So I'm going to come in in here. I'm going to paint this out all in the background. And I think I'll use Blue Bonnet. I had this out the other day. And I'm just talking, talking through this here. I'll come out and chat when I come to a good stopping point. I'm getting to the bottom of this wax paper. And I might need that white. Let's see what happened to the lid. Can I knock the lid off of the... Did I? Did you guys see if I knocked the lid off? I don't see it here. <clears throat> Let me put this safe place. I don't know what I did with the lid to that glue. That makes me nervous. Maybe I'll put it back over here where I keep it. Now I'll put these ink pads away. See, if I put stuff away while I have it out, I don't have this problem. Now I don't know what I did with the lid to my glue pot. All right, we're good. Maybe my book is covering it up. Let's use this brush. Let me lift up my book. No, I don't see it. Oh well. I might have knocked it off. And I'm just going to come in here and paint this out. Even though it's got ink on it, I might just leave some of the green in there. But I want it mostly blue. And yeah, the funny papers are under there. <laughs> but I guess I've just decided to paint them out. I used them because they were in my mystery box. Now that's a little flat to me, so I'm going to put some white in there. That's a little flat. And I want a bright white. And I'm not stopping to clean my brush between, <clears throat> should really. <clears throat> Excuse me, I have this scratch of my throat. It's just a scratch, it's not a cold or anything, it's just like, it's like I've been talking too much. It's like I've been talking too much. <laughs> So, you can tell I've got Easter on my brain tonight. I'll probably put a flower in over here because these are kind of... Yeah. 
uh, let's just bring a little of this down into the bottom of the page. Just kind of splotch it in there, just to kind of pull the page together um, with spots of color of the same color. Yeah. In here, I'll be putting green and Pretty happy with that so far for a background. A bunny's eyes really look starey, don't they? <laughs> They'll get better. I know all my animals when I draw the eyes and I put in the eye light, this looks like I could they're, they're staring at you. Like there's that bunny is. Huh? It's a surprise. You mean it's Easter already? Who making me? You mean I have to deliver eggs? All right. Let's wash this brush out and do the some greens for the leaves and stuff. Just put splotch in some green. Uh, some sort of green like what's in here. And I'm just going to splotch it in like I did my blue. Splotch it in. Let's put my blue away. I'll, or get it where I can get at it fast. And let's do this new shamrock green. And I have a light green in a big bottle. I have this mint green. I like this sweet mint green too. Let's try those. And I'll wash out my, I'm gonna use the same brush. And it doesn't matter if it has a little blue on it. Of my a little moth bug coming to check out the painting here, I guess. And this is just for fun. This isn't, this is just a fun mystery journal just because I want to play. It's a play day for Easter's coming up April 4th, I think. Easter is April 4th this year, which is not that far away, is it? I feel like I need a little bit darker green, too. Marsh green. Let's see how, how dark this is. Yeah. All right, we got three colors of green. More green than I need. And we're going to start out with the... And we're just going to splotch it in. And then I'll be painting over it probably. Spot in some of the light stuff. Some of the dark in here maybe. Let's see. I think I was doing daffodils in there. And this will get covered up by my... Ew! And it's splotching it in. I might have too much green here.
Remember, there are bunnies and eggs and chickens in here. I'm just putting the green out. Some of this shape of the grass will get covered up. I think I have too much paint. On here. That's okay. We'll come back in and I think I'm good with that. So I'm going to get out my crackalackin' journal and get rid of some of that paint. place in here. I'm just going to smear it in here with my brush. Maybe I'll do those same type of grass strokes. My chair is falling down to the ground again. I sit on it and it sinks down. It's an old chair. Of course, I think my journal is upside down. Is it upside down? Yeah, let's turn it around. egg hunt here. Of course, not on this, but I just want to use up this paint. I don't want it to go to waste. Alrighty. We'll let that dry. And let's go back to <laughs> things are balanced precariously over there. Shall we paint that bunny who's just sitting here staring at us? Let's fold this. And I'm going to put these away. And keep my white out. We want kind of a tan, tannish color for the bunny. Green. Oh, wow. Where I get all of this stuff, putting it away is another story. All right, so I want some white and some brown, white and brown, maybe a dab of yellow for that gold, white, brown, and gold. And let's do the smaller brush. away. Looks kind of scary right now, doesn't he? Like, you mean I gotta deliver eggs? 
it. All right, guys, don't panic. Don't panic. Easter's coming. He, he says, I'm not up for that this year. Or he could say, he could say, you mean there's not going to be any Easter egg hunts this year? Oh, no. Could be saying a lot of different things. Poor little bunny, he looks scared. We'll help him. A little bit of yellow out here. So I'm going to mix some of this brown with the tan. I mean, with the white and get a tan. And we're just going to... Oh, I need some pink for his ears. A little bit of white on his cheek in here. A bow is going to cover up most of this, of his body below his chin, um, below the bow here. Their body comes in here, but uh, there'll be flowers and Easter eggs in here. So... in here and in here come up that way All right, we need a dab of red for his ears and his nose to make a pink. But let's do his, well, I don't think I want to do his eyes yet. If I do, I need a smaller brush. Excuse me, I have this scratch in my throat. It's just killing me. It's not a I got a cold scratch. It's just like a dry throat from talking too much. All right, let's mix some. I need some pink. Let's get a little red. I'm trying to use up this red that I've been keeping upside down. Let's put a little dab on here. <coughs> Excuse me. Horrible. He 
looks like he's awfully surprised that he's he's either not gonna deliver it, bunny eggs this year or or he has to. All right, let's paint in his eyes. Make him a little friendlier. A little friendlier bunny. A little cuter. Let's go for the white in here again. Oops. A little pink shading on his cheeks there. I'll have to paint that out. And actually, I think that's pretty much of a dark black line coming down. I don't know if I can... Let's go back up to Is he getting any cuter? I'm not watching chat while I'm doing this. I'm concentrating on a, a cute bunny. See what I'm doing over there. here under here a little chin it doesn't have that big of a mouth
All right, hold on. I'm not done with him. Okay. Now let's put a little gold in this brown. Give him a little gold, brownish gold. Tones in here. For some reason, I think he needs a red and a red bow tie. I don't know why. And that needs to be dark on the inside. Oh, he went from scary to cute, I think. Paper keeps falling down on me. Let's get the black out. Is that black? No, oh, it's more of a grayish brown. What did I do with my black? English Navy. That will work. Let's do the English Navy. need to wash my brush out between colors. I don't always do that. I get into trouble. Right. We'll let that dry a little. And let's do the chick. It's going to be yellow and gold. A brighter yellow. 
and a bright yellow here. Ew, Mary. That's horrible. And let's add some white to that. Well, I can do that with what I have on there. Wash my brush out again. That chick is coming right in here. And there'll be an egg and grass and whatnot. Put that dark coat in there too. And I'll, my lines will help define that chick. Let's put the beak in. When I get to doing the detailing, right now it's just a shape. And kind of hidden under here, behind here. Now it needs more yellow. All right. Let's paint in some of the eggs. We'll just make them white at first. Well, sort of white. My brushes have paint on them. decorate them up and we'll put flowers on here this is just Sunday night fun of course not all eggs are are white they're got to have some yellow and brown ones in there Maybe some blue ones. I put my blue away. Some pink ones. Now white. Is it starting to look like Easter? And some of them will have grass be hidden in the grass. I'll have to put some more grass coming through and there'll be some daffodils. Let's make it yellow in here. Just a little yellow. You know, Easter eggs are hid. Hidden. We need some blue. I put my blue away. I got the navy blue out. Let's do some more of this blue bonnet. Let's 
a little dark blue with it. Oh, it's turning gray. Gray egg. We don't want gray eggs. That was on the sheet. I'm not going to use it. I want a bright blue. Bimini blue. It's more of a teal blue. It's not really bright. It's not what I'm thinking. I'm thinking like a cobalt blue. We'll tuck it in there. Alrighty. Mary has the lamb to do. And the daffodils. And the daisies. And we need to decorate the eggs. Oh! This is going to take me all night! <laughs> I think I let's use the lamb. Let's do the lamb up here. He's mostly white, little lamb in here. He have a little eye, a little pink nose. It's got a little tan. It's a little tan and yellow up here. Maybe I'll give him black ears, pink nose, like the bunny rabbit, little pink nose. Uh, let's take a little of this blue and give that little, little bird a blue eye and that lamb a little. I and let's get out. I need black, not blue. English Navy, Admiral Blue, English Navy. Where's my black? No, I got the big black. Mary's talking to herself. Where am I going to put it, right? We don't need a whole lot. We just need a little. We might need a little more, but we'll come back to it. Looks like a coloring book page, doesn't it? Oh, well. This little lamb has a a black ear. Little black ears. I don't know if lambs have black ears or not. This one does. Maybe a little gray in there. And I like his little eye, to tell you the truth. It needs to be a brighter white. If I can get it that bright white. Maybe come in with a little tannish white below in here. A little white in there. Oh, 
Alrighty. I think I'm happy. So let's do some daffodils. I need more yellow. I think I need another another piece of wax paper. And let's get a little of this brighter yellow out. It's about done for. And we're gonna mix some white with the with this and make a light yellow or up in here. Put my hand in it. Now, I'll come back after it's had a chance to dry a little. And let's see, I had another one in here. <laughs> uh, let's see, I think this was the leaf. And uh, how did it go? Oh, it went like this. And there's some more yellow. That white in here. And let's do some white daisies. We don't have to have 10 million daffodils. Oh, I got another daffodil up in there. Let's do that one. Actually, more green comes down in there. A little more yellow in here. All right.
Oops, that's kind of thick. Well, all right, we'll let it be thick. We could make some yellow ones too. Um <clears throat> gonna let that dry a little I might smish this in my journal because it's it's time to get a new a new set out so let's grab my crackalack and journal and I think I'll just set it there and dark there but I'll be putting white on it throw that away now we'll just let that be yuck but usually that yuck stuff after I get done with the yuck page it turns out pretty nice <laughs> I have to put it over here and let it dry My hands are yuck, that's for sure. All right. I think I'm going to put the inspiration piece down. And that, that is this. That's this and this. And I'll be coming in with more floral and stuff. And I'm just going to use the word brights. Now, all of this will be defined more. I think I'll put the word brights on last. So... How am I going to put this down? With a glue stick. Wherever that ran off to. It was here earlier tonight. I have to dig for it, but it's here. Hi to everybody out there. Thank you for coming in. While I'm working on this, I'm really not chatting with you. I'm chatting at you. But I'm not in the mood to stop what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm in the mood to do this. I'm working in my mystery journal. Um, I actually used a calendar page from Arlene and a comics but there on the underneath, I painted over them. But I used them. I used them. That's the whole point is to use this stuff. And let's just put this maybe right in here. And I'll probably have to glue it down better. Seems okay now. And this 
this is my inspiration piece here. The little bunny and the looks like a little garden planner. And I might work, put the word P-A-S-S, Paz, instead of bright. Well, I like that word bright, too. Maybe I'll put brights over here and put P-A-S-S, -S, mimic that word there down in here. I think I'm going to throw this away. I haven't decided yet. <laughs> oh, dear. So, let's go ahead and put this... down. Terrible how things fall. Absolutely terrible. I enjoy doing this. I feel like this is a little bit like a children's book, color book, -y, but it inspired me. It inspired me. What's on the back here is a stack of Halloween books. I like both sides. It looked like I kept the Easter bunnies. I didn't think about checking the back. Shall I bring it down? Or shall I put it in the center? I'm going to put it in the center. Look at that. There we go. So now let's get my, I need paint markers. Oh, you know what? I have those, where did I do with them? I bet I put them, I bet I don't have them right out here. I have those markers that, those metallic markers that Annie V sent me. I'm probably in the box over there. So I put everything back in the box. I'll bet I could get PASS out of there. Too bad it's not gold. I could cut it out of that gold foil, but I don't think I want to do that. I'm kind of looking for those metallic markers that... Any V sent me, but I don't think I, I think I put them in that box. So let's go back to a marker and a marker. And I think, I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to, I got these on sale for $1.24. I don't know where. How do they open? You know, I could make this very vintage at this point. Maybe after I get these letters on and spray some walnut ink on here. And let it be more of a... Of a kid's... I mean, not a kid's. More of a vintage Easter piece. There's an A. There's a Q. There's the word egg. M, M, O. There's a P. And R. And there's the SS's. Maybe after I get the eggs decorated and the rabbit drawn and everything, I'll hit it with some walnut ink and make it look like it's a vintage book. I, I'm liking that thought. I'm liking that thought. A vintage Easter book. And you guys know I don't trust these stickers, especially... I think I'll put it down in here. And I think I'll just smear ink on here. I mean ink. Uh, 
glue. Like that. And put it down there. P. What happened to the A? Did I put it back? <laughs> I put the A back. No, I didn't. Here it is. A. This is kind of fun. This is kind of fun. I, w I didn't really intend on spending this much time. But once I get going with something like this, I find it hard to stop. That S, that S is weird. Let's take it off. Oh, did I put it upside down? No, I think it's just, I tore it off wrong. Yes. Let's finish it up here. I didn't get the tail of it. Went right here. Oh, it doesn't have to. It's going to be a vintage book anyway. It's going to have a little tear in it. Of course, now I have another thing to put away after I'm done here tonight and those letters I like that there let's see if I can't wipe off some of that glue now oh, they'll be sticky I don't like doing that but I don't like gluing each letter individually too oh look there's lots of paper here And I think if I hit that with the heat gun too, that will dry some of that glue. Does anybody know out there know? And I'll be watching for an answer. What does PASS stand for? Do any of you know what P-A-S-S -S stands for on the Easter egg ephemera? Is it a, it's a type of dye, isn't it? Get out the wider marker. Oh, it's P A A S. Oh, it is, isn't it? All right. Well, let's take that off. I got pass, don't don't I? Pass. Mary didn't pass the test. Thank you for catching my goof. I don't mind. I don't mind. Now I got both tails of my S torn. We'll just. I guess I'll save this one. I might want it. P A A S. What does it stand for? I'm going to refresh my YouTube. What does it stand for, all you? experts out there let me refresh my youtube here i made a goof that's what mary does 
Let me come in to get out of the ads. I love you, L YouTube, but P A A S. Oh, thank you, Cheryl. What is in the candy dispensers? I don't know. Sugar candy. Chocolate. Chocolate covered. Chocolate covered. Uh, M&M's. <laughs> sugar coated M&M's. What else? Mostly sugar candy, wasn't it? In these can Easter candy things and marshmallow. All right, I need an A. I threw my letters way over there. Because I said I'll have to put them away. Uh, let me get up and go get them. I'm glad you guys caught that, though. I would have been embarrassed if I would have made it my thumbnail. I need another A. <laughs> Look, it said eight. A-T-E. Well, let's get another A. Surely they gave me more than one A. There it is. P-A-A-S. All right. It's the dye that Pez is in the candy. Really? That's the type of dye that's in the candy? The P-A-S-S -S is? Oh, thank you, Val. Hi, Rosemary. A Dutch name? Rosemary says Dutch name. P-A-A-S Dye Company. The name comes from... Passant, the name the Pennsylvania Dutch neighbors used for Easter. Oh, Pennsylvania Dutch. My mother's, oh, I got to change this S. I got to change this S. It's not looking good here. Um, my mother's great aunt, who would have been my, I got to take this off, who would have been my great great aunt raised my mother. My mother was one of like 12 or 13 kids and she was kind of cute, cute little girl. My mother was a cute little lady. She didn't think she was cute, but I keep telling her she was cute. And she was the one that they chose um, to raise. Uh, and of course, she, she was raised close enough that she still knew her brothers and sisters. But every time Becky talks about being raised by her grandmother, I think of my mother because I got to get another S out. I hope I have another S. <laughs> How many S's? I'm supposed to have nine S's. Good. <laughs> I'm going to need them. Um, but she was Pennsylvania Dutch. Well, I goofed up two S's here. We'll we'll just keep this. I might just put it on a uh, a page that you know a bad page. All right, let's try the S here. This is actually getting more. I'm putting more work into this than what I intent intended, but I'm liking how it's going. And that's really not the proper way to put these letters down, but I don't trust the... On stickers, I tell you, I don't care who makes them. Those purchase stickers never sticker, if you ask me. 
I'm always gluing my stickers down. They they might go down temporary, but long term they're they're pulling off the page. All right, I think I'm done with those. But let me. I've got to get a clean towel. <laughs> Look at that, boy, Mary. That was smart. Now you got this gunk on there. Get a different towel. Let's give that a dry. So let's go back to let's go back to my markers and let's get this bunny a nose. And I think I'll put the I think I'll put the the um, whiskers in with my white white out pen. And I'm going to hit this with some walnut ink to make it look vintage. Like a, a vintage uh, a vintage storybook maybe. An Easter story. I didn't do anything in here. I need to come back and do something in there. With some eggs. Let's draw the daffodils in here. You know, a, a children's book would have these big black lines. Maybe that's why I like them so much. I don't know. I seem to really... I really seem to like those big dark lines. Well, I know why I like them is because they define they define my images. And when you're just working with craft paint, you don't have all that you don't have all that detail of mixing, you know, like you have with oils and well, you know what I mean. You do, but you don't. I don't. <laughs> the little, the little lamb down in here. All right, and then the little, let's see, the bunny rabbit comes there and the little, the little bird, the little chicky. He has a beak here. Yeah. And then there's a flower. And Rosemary was in here. Hi, Rosemary, if you're still out there listening. I've been in here playing with my... <laughs> Should be doing some Leather and lace. I should be doing some leather and lace. I've been watching your leather and lace videos, Rosemary. 
All right, I need to come in here with some more grass, but we'll go ahead and define these these Easter eggs. So I need more grass in there and maybe another egg in here. And I kind of lost it in there. And it needs a center. Yeah. I almost feel like getting my crayons out. <laughs> And I just use this just simple, you know, that, I don't know, it almost looks like an old tire, doesn't it? Um, I used it just because it was on that Astral Bright that was in my mystery art journal. Let's just put some, let's start defining some of these leaves up in here. They really don't need a lot of definition, the grass. But since I've got black lines on everything else, well, let's go back in with the daffodils. There's a daisy in here. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I don't think I'll decorate the eggs. I think I'll leave them like they are. I think the only thing I want to do to this is this area in here. Um... We'll just leave them undecorated. <laughs> I'm going to spray this with some walnut ink and attempt to make it look vintage. Let, let's take care of this. And, oh, I'm down at the bottom of my wax paper here. I think this was an old one that I had. And this is another Galaxy paper holder in the future. All right. Well, let's fold it here. So I just want to put some greens in here and maybe a white egg. So I don't need a whole lot. And that's the bimini blue and the brown and the black. I think I put my greens away. Uh, English navy. It wasn't black, it was English Navy. Alrighty. Blue where the blue goes and brown where the brown goes. And more blue. And now I need some green. By golly, I reached right to it. And I don't need a whole, whole lot. And my chair is falling down again. Let's get rid of my cup. You don't want to see behind me. You don't want to see behind me. All right. And I need a towel. 
It's just a process to do this. You need a towel to clean your brush. You need wax paper for the palette. I don't think I'm going to put the brights on here. I like it, but it doesn't quite... It, it fits because I know what it means, but other than that, it really doesn't fit. And that black in here doesn't really fit unless you think of this being a... I could take some green and kind of streak in there, and you could think of that maybe being a, a little rabbit hole. I might do that, bring some of that grass up around in there. Let's get that darker green, too. Was it this? Marsh green. That's not the dark stuff. Where's the dark? English navy. Don't know what I did with the dark green. New shamrock. Maybe that was new shamrock. I don't think that's a dark green. Oh, I'm getting a lot of green out just trying to find my dark stuff. Avocado. I haven't opened this. Avocado's more of a... I'm going to stop. Oh, this is good enough. All right. Let's put some... greens in here. And let's mix it with a little... Uh, a little yellow, maybe. Need a whole lot, but... Let that dry a little. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's put some grass up in here. Let this look like it's a, a little rabbit home. I don't like those black lines in for the grass. I don't care for it. Kind of paint them out a little. We need to paint this Easter egg in here. White. It will be white. This has been fun. What time is it? 9.30.
I wanted to cut some stencils tonight. I'll probably do that next, and then I'll probably be my last thing that I do tonight. It takes me a while to cut those stencils. This is going to be one big egg. Maybe I'll bring some of that grass up over there. Alrighty. Let's give that a little dry. <coughs> I need to put some zempers to my flower. Sure do have that little scratchy throat tonight. I'm not quite sure why. I hope that isn't a sign of a cold. <coughs> I haven't gone any, but I was up late the other night. If it's anything, it's because I was up late. <coughs> I didn't get my sleep, and now I'm might have bring up be bringing on a cold i hope not i hate to have a cold i haven't had a cold all year though let's see what did i want to do this flower a little brighter I think I'll just leave it like that. Um, I'm not going to fool around too much with the... I'm not going to fool around too much with the daffodils because I just outlined them. Let's put some... <coughs> Let's hide these eggs in the grass. I think I'm pretty happy with it. I don't think there's much more that I want to change. I think I'm going to leave it. And I'm going to put some white whiskers on with my whiteout pen. But while that's kind of drying, well, well, let's hit it with the heat gun. Heat gun alert. Oh, I know what I wanted to do. Wait, before I do that, I, got, I need, I need centers in my flowers. I need, I need some. Oh, you know what? I have this uh, Americana white writer dimensional shall we try this for the whiskers i don't think it's ever been used this came from annie v let's take this paint and put it away up here i don't think this has ever been used the tip isn't You guys see that book? This is kind of up on the 
corner here. No, it hasn't even, don't think it's even been opened. Let's open it. I think this is just acrylic paint, acrylic dimensional rider. Shake well, ideal for most craft surfaces. Use rider tip for lines, swirls, and dimensionals. I'm going to do its whiskers with this. We'll see how this works. Well, no, it, I don't think it's got a, a, a seal here that's, where's my palette knife? Let me get my palette knife out. I turned to my palette knife for this stuff. I might have to pull this off with my pliers. Get a good grip on it. Let me get my pliers. This is probably some she just had around. Bless her heart. She has just gifted me so much. Let's see if I can clean that off a little. It's on my hand now. I think it's good enough. Yeah, another towel for the waste basket. It's on my fingers. All right, let's put my, and it's on my, it's on my pliers. Put my scissors away. Oh, I have to cut the tip. Let's cut the tip. I just cut it a small <clears throat> let's get out a I threw that black paper away let's test it on this board to wait for it to get down in there Oh, that's going to be cool. All right, so we're going to start here. Give him some whiskers. He can't have whiskers down his mouth. He wouldn't be able to eat. So I'm just going to kind of clean this off. It does not have a cap to it. I put a piece of aluminum foil. Oh, let's put a pin in that. Let's put a pin. There we go. Thank you, Annie V. I, that worked well. All right, let's put my scissors away, put my palette knife away. The only thing I think I want to do to this now is hit it with some... Hit it with some walnut ink. And maybe around the edges. So get my brushes a little clean here.
while my paint is dry and I'm just washing out my brushes. I'll take them in and give them a good soaking one of these days. And uh, Murphy's Oil Soap. Get another clean towel out. I go through these paper towels pretty fast. Let's put my paint away. My yellows. And greens and white. If I do this while I'm while I'm arting, rather than just let it sit, I'm tired after I get done with a session. And I, I generally take a picture of my whatever I'm using for my uh thumbnail and then I'm out of here <laughs> it, it tires me out all right so let's I have this pretty gold let's put my pens away my scissors away and let's see if I got some more waxed paper Wash that brush. A little brushes. And I need some more wax paper. I think that was an old roll that I had. I think I have a new roll in here. Yes. It's not Reynolds wrap, but for what I want it for, it I'm fine. And we're going to put it behind here. Not that we need to protect the pages, but... And I got it off center again, don't I? to refill it and I have that at hand too I saw it when I was twirling my cart here here it is and just to be safe let's put some or we'll have a real vintage page here let's put some wax paper down and hopefully this one spritz. Sometimes these gets get uh, stopped up. All right, here we go. Just hold it steady. I'm just doing it kind of slow because slow and careful is the name of the game. There we go. Look, I didn't spill a drop. Let's hope it spritz now. No. Come on. Well, so I'm 
not done. We'll fix it. We'll fix it. That may not be the one that's fixed. Let me look again. Do, 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 Let me look in my drawer. These, I bought some more the other day. If I have an empty one or not. Try that one. See if that one spritz. That may not have been the one that spritzed. This one spritz. After I filled it. Well, well, I get some of these at Walmart. How come that's not shutting? What's keeping it? Um, sometimes when I get them at Walmart... You know, after one or two uses, they're done. They're done. All right. So what I want to do, let's, and this is good. Let's just let's just keep this here. I just kind of want to do the the edges. Oh, and it's acrylic, so it's kind of kind of beat up a little on me. That's okay. Let's just take this. Oh, let's just use this paper. Let's just use it as a... Wipe up. Why not? It might work if I spritz it on a towel and paint it in. Let's, let's try another technique here. Let's see. I'm not sure. I'm, I like it in here. But I'm not sure I like it up in there. So let's let's try this. And I should have gloves on because I'm gonna get my hands all yucky. Uh, use it more as a as a paint than a here. I got another idea. <sighs> rather than spraying it. It said, I got acrylic here, so it's got some resist, but it should still be going on there to a certain extent. Um, let's take, look, I'm getting down to the bottom of this stuff too, and I think I've dumped stuff. I've, I've put this in and really not a, it's more of a contaminated and I put my brushes all away, except for the big one. need my towel. I need a clean towel. I just want to darken this. I want it to be aged. And I think it is. I think it is. You're just not seeing it on the blue. And it, there is some resist to it.
you're not seeing it up in here. I need to layer that maybe. Let's give it a dry and go back over it. I'm not gonna, I'm not doing this area in here. I just wanted, ink would probably do better than this, than this liquid, uh, vintage ink. Would probably do better. <laughs> I don't know what happened to the lid to my glue. I must have knocked it over the cliff. I'll have to put some of this wax paper on it until I can get in there and look behind my desk. Janice keeps telling me to put a little piece up there on the edge of my desk, and I keep saying, yeah, I'm going to, and then I never get it done. Now the walnut ink does dry lighter, but I think I'm happy with this. I think I'm happy. Oh, I wanted to put centers on my flowers. Oh well, I'm going to leave them as they are. I keep forgetting them. And now I'm going to put centers on them. All right. And I have just a little left I'm going to dump back in here, and I might want it for something else. Yeah, it's just a little left in this little jar. I've got another jar out in the kitchen. My brother puts up with me. <laughs> there was one shelf there that his significant other had a bought a bunch of that crystal light and all that powdery drink. I don't drink it, but it's sitting up there. It has to be. She passed away in 2013, and this is 2021. <laughs> I cleared it all out. I threw, I took it out, threw it all away, and then I put my walnut ink jars up there. <laughs> he knows what there are. He knows what they are. All right. So I'm done with that. Now, I, I guess I'm going to put some centers. And let's just make them gold. Let's just make them gold. Where's my gold? I put it away. I put it away. Let's use this. Well... Saffron yellow or King's gold. And I'm just going to put a dab down here on my wax paper. I don't know if you guys can see it. Maybe you can. And I'm just going to paint in some centers of my flowers. I only need four of them. There we go. So, uh, I'm pretty happy with this page. Um, I'm not sure you, how you guys are seeing this area here, but since we know what it is... I'm going to throw all this stuff away now. You know what? I am tired. I think I'll draw this page and dry this page and uh, call it a day. I'm tired. It was fun. What else did I do tonight? I did something else tonight. 
worked on the Relidex card. I think that's about the only two things I got done tonight. I was going to cut stencils. Oh, I put those gold strips on my journal. That's enough for one session. I'll let you guys go home early tonight. I'll let you go home early. I'm pretty happy with it. And thank you for catching my error. I would have been embarrassed if I would have had pass on it. <laughs> like, I'll pass on Easter this year. I think I'm happy with it. Let's put my paint away. Let's put this away. Yeah. Sign it. Let me sign it. Oh, of course I knocked my pen down. Today is 321. 2021. So let me come out and say good night. I do think I'm going to quit a little early tonight. I, I've lost my second wind. I was going to do some cutting some stencils, but that can wait. The leather and lace journal can wait. The Art Nouveau can wait. The project bags can wait. Oh, the craft lunches. The organizing the room. <laughs> I've got to get at it. All right, let me let me come out and say good night. Yeah. Let me unplug you guys, and we'll come. <sighs> Rhonda says, "I wish it was only seven thirty. Ah, dark by seven thirty. Oh." It's it's light after 7.30 here. I'm pretty sure. So I looked out the other night. It was at least a quarter till 8. <laughs> oh. Good night, Rhonda. Hi, Darla. Good night. Especially as cutting stencils when tired might be dangerous for your digits. Yes, it might, Darla. It might the, the way I'm going tonight. So we'll do that. Let's see, this is Sunday evening, so tomorrow's Monday morning, so of course Dee Dee comes on, Dee Dee Willingham comes on at um, 8.30 Eastern, 7.30 Central, and um, Janet Nash, Janet Nash comes on at 9 Eastern, our time, she's over in the UK, um, then Janet Young comes on after Dee Dee uh, sometime in the morning around 11 my time, I believe. Probably around 12 Eastern or up around in there. And I've still lost to who goes on in the afternoons on Monday. I've lost all track of that. But Monday night, Lisa Conway comes on at my Eclectic Live. And then Tuesday morning, I'll be back. I'll be back. Mary, in Arizona, that's when it gets dark. <laughs> okay, okay. I believe you. Janet's still here. She says, good night, Cheryl. Good night, ladies. I need to leave as well. Enjoy your evening. Do, do, do. Marjorie is, was here. She says, love, love. Love the bunnies. This turned out pretty nice. That bunny just pops out, doesn't it? He's really a predominant bunny, and everything else kind of falls into the background. I did not put a lot of detail on the eggs, and uh, I did put that. They did vintage it down quite a bit, that walnut ink. Yeah, you have to give it a couple of, of layers. But it it does look pretty 
brown now. <laughs> oh. oh, I was going to do some journaling tonight. I'll do that. I'll do that Tuesday morning. I want to actually put some things. It's the, what, the 21st today. I actually want to put some things in my art journal. I have been, but I have more than I wanted to go in my art, my March art journal. Do, 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 do. Elvis was a big sweet. Elvis is a big sweetie was in here. She says, Mary, I love watching you paint and draw. Easter spread is awesome. Thank you. And I think her name is Deborah. Elvis is a big sweetie, sweetie. But if I'm wrong and if you're listening and want to correct me, I won't mind. Holly said hubby just got home from being gone all weekend. Oh, my goodness. Uh, all right. We're back to where Allie Kay was telling us what PAS, PAAS stands for. And it's PAS Easter Egg Dye Tablets were invented in 1880 by a drugstore owner in New York, New Jersey. The PAAS Dye Company is the name that comes from P-A-S-S-A-N, the name uh, the Pennsylvania Dutch neighbors used for Easter. Oh, really? P-A-S-S-A-N? P -A -S -S -A -N? Well, P-A, I had P-A-S-S, -S, so if I would have added an A-N, I would have had the Dutch name for Easter. That is very interesting. Very cool. Allie, if you're listening, thank you so much for looking that up for us. Okay. Well, everybody have uh, a wonderful week. I will see you tomorrow uh, morning. At, for those of you who come into my early morning, I don't expect you all to. But if you want to, you're invited. <laughs> At 4.30 Central AM, we have a good time. We do. I'm surprised at the number of people who come in on Tuesday, those early in the mornings. Um, I And, you know, I do that for several reasons. First of all, I have less conflict with other people uh, who, in the States, because, you know, who's crazy enough to get up at 4.30 in the morning to do streams? That's one reason. The other reason is for all the people out there who want to do streams, they have more of the daytime hours. I'm not fighting them for daytime hours. Um, and then the other reason is I I get uh, uh, international people. Uh, I get uh, to talk to a lot of international early in the morning because it's early afternoon to them. And I enjoy it. I enjoy my mind is fresh most of the time, unless I've had a, a a hard day. So that's kind of the reasons that I stream that early in the morning. You wouldn't get me to get up and study French that early in the morning. <laughs> All right, everybody. Have a great week. Be safe. Go do some art. Bye. Thanks for coming. Bye.